Alrighty, yo guys, Beast back with some more Beast of content. Today is going to be a salvage for data farm. So the first thing you're going to want to do is play three hours into the game, warp five times to any system on the fifth warp you will encounter a pirate battle. Uh, so that is what we are doing now. Do note, if it is a three-star galaxy, there's a higher chance of you also getting an S-Class Freighter out of this whole shebang. So, now that we have found it, first of all, I instantly started attacking the ship like a maroon, when what I really suggest for you to do is just to jettison away as far as you can using your hyperdrive, get away from the ship, and then pull out your own personal freighter. As you can see here, though, this pirate battle has a ton of brigades with cargo pods and everything. These have a chance of having salvage brigade data on it, we're going to be creating a restore point, allowing us to reload this mission at any point. I've shown this previously for many, many farms. This thing is just so darn helpful. Using your freighter as a restore point has a handful of uses, but this is going to be one of them. So once we have spawned our freighter, we're going to go to a space station. That's what you're going to need to do. We're going to go to the teleporter and we're going to teleport out of this system. You don't want to be in this system for just a second after this uh, we are going to be going right back to the freighter, but as you can see here, I teleported to my settlement, which is in a different system, so that gave us a base teleporter with infinite power at the settlement. That's why you want a settlement, guys. If you don't got one by now, get one before the expedition's next part releases. Also, I just want to mention 46%. Anywho, as we were saying here, this is now my personal freighter. We have spawned here. I don't actually have a teleport room in my personal freighter yet, though at the end of the video, we will be unlocking it. Unfortunately, it needed amino chambers, which weren't available in this galaxy, so we'll have to be doing some portal warping and not moving our freighter because I want to hang on to this until I get my salvage data upgrades maxed out. So all of these cargo pods on all of these ships, including some of the small ships, all have a chance of having salvage brigade data in them. You can actually see what's in them when reading them. I kind of just shot at a whole bunch of them just because, you know, uh, we also want some chromatic material. As you can see here, this is like 50 chromatic metal, gold, uranium, all sorts of things, guys. Cogs that can be sold for credits, all sorts of things. So the next thing I actually decided to do, and what I suggest for you to do, is to dedicate a storage container room, which you will be able to build straight out of the gate without having to unlock, uh, to just being able to store the items that you already have in your exosuit inventory so that you don't run out of any inventory storage. After this, you are going to be able to leave your freighter again and continue to attack them. You just want to attack them until you either destroy them all, if you're after every single thing they have, or until they give you salvage for gate data. Now, I know you're worried, oh, but what about standing? Well, first of all, you need to get yourself a passport. Uh, I will be covering how to reset standing and also a reset or uh, standing farm. This can be used as a standing farm too, due to the fact that this mission continuously respawns and you can just keep turning the mission in and then reloading the restore point by spawning onto your freighter over and over causing you to be able to get plus two standing every single time you do it uh, with literally taking two minutes or however long your loading times are super duper convenient here so don't even worry about standing guys we will be resetting our standing in this system once we get a forged passport however i'm not going to be doing this in this video i know that kind of sucks i know you want to fix your standing you're so worried about it i mean do it in a raceless galaxy if you have to to get these guys that's the other thing you could find a galaxy on your fifth warp that doesn't have a race it should still be a battle it should still have a freighter so you should still be able to create the restore point uh, the other thing to note is these freighters do have a chance of being as class so you might actually want to be landing on the primary freighter and checking its class before attacking the cargo pods however if you are just at their salvage brigade data you can just target the pods that have salvage brigade data go back to your freighter or the freighter that you're actually attacking right now you can actually go onto the capital ship and land there and then come back out and the sentinels will be gone and everything will be okay again so as you can see here, the next thing I did was go to the space station. I wanted to cover something here real quickly with this vendor guy here because I showed it in the last video, but I didn't talk about it. Uh, where you can get dihydrogen jelly, which can be smelted down into a bulk dihydrogen will actually be for most starship vendors uh, also some stations actually sell dihydrogen at like 150 dihydrogen cell which is like you know 10 20 000 dihydrogen being sold just directly to you all you gotta do is load it into your smelter refiner on the uh you know freighter that we're working on here uh, which also the refiner rooms also unlocked by default on your freighter you're also going to be getting materials that you can use to actually uh, build rooms in your freighter and actually build things on your freighter so it's also just helping you with resources too this is also a resource farm once again you can also farm cargo bulkheads using this method just don't attack the freighter go to land directly on the freighter speak to the captain go to a space station or your personal freighter if you have the teleport room unlocked and built i did unlock that while we were doing this 
But as you can see here, in order to get the mission to reload, like I just said, we spawned away, we went to another galaxy, which if you had the teleport chamber on your freighter unlocked and built, you could just use the teleport chamber on your freighter. On my main save, that's how I do things. But you use the teleport chamber on your main freighter to teleport to any other base that's not in that system, and then you would teleport straight back to the freighter. We're using settlement to freighter teleport method here where we have to go all the way to this space station until we unlock our teleporter on our freighter. Once we unlock that, we're just gonna teleport to our settlement. But anyway, so I actually had seven salvage for gate data modules, guys. So we unlocked the teleport chamber, which will give us a space teleporter that will teleport to space stations on our freighter as well as our bases. Super duper helpful there. We unlocked that first biology room, double cultivation, and nutrition room. So nutrient processor is a workbench sort of item in this game uh, that can be built in bases but you can also just unlock the room form of it on your freighter as you can see here which i'm going to be unlocking that today i don't actually use this normally but there are tons and tons and tons of recipes you can put into this thing to make edible food products i think these can be like i'm not sure what all sort of things they can do we are going to be looking into that soon enough but uh for now i've stayed out of the nutrition nutrition room i actually haven't been in there in the 300 plus hours i've played this game so we also unlocked the scanner room super important room i will be telling you about that room later i think it's best just if i show you what the room does when we actually get to the room also like i said i unlocked that first cultivation thing because it doesn't have planters in the center of it the other one is double planters so if i wanted to plant nip nip up here i'd be doing it in at least double planters because i'm not doing it <laughs> dual you know two limited plants per the room at least four will be okay it'll have some carbon you know maybe we'll make some money there but we're gonna have to plant a bunch of them i don't want to do that i honestly i hate planting nip nip on the freighter i love double biodome uh most of the cosmetics are actually unlockable via nanites uh the last thing we actually unlocked was some for gate fuel 50 tones just so we could craft this crap also because it will unlock the rest of the tree here with this method you can max out your freighter super duper easy on the uh, salvage for gate module upgrades actually it doesn't even take that many really and with this method it's an hour you're gonna max the entire thing out no problem guys this was only 45 minutes of recording and half of it was you know not actually doing the farm if i was just focusing on the farm and not trying to create a video here it'd be a little different as you can see here i went through and upgraded my freighter we removed those stupid planter rooms i complained about this in a video and i found out i could remove it so i definitely did now we will just be able to harvest carbon and not accidentally be harvesting any sort of uh empty harvester that we don't even want to use on our freighter now it's just a carbon room only for carbon this is our refiner it's always in the center and then we have around the entire setup a array of the planters without the planters in the center just for carbon this is the exocraft summoning station what that thing is going to allow you to do is actually summon your exocrafts anywhere your freighter is summoned so if your freighter is, or if you summon your freighter in any system you will be able to hop into your minotaur your car your anything just because your freighter's in the system this is my favorite part that we unlocked today this allows resource hunting when it comes to searching multiple planets at once super duper efficiently so let's get on into this guys let me show you what this thing does so first of all activate it that's what you're going to need to do it'll do a scan sort of effect and if you haven't discovered the planet or it hasn't already been discovered uh you won't know any of this stuff by default but it will tell you all this stuff automatically it'll tell you everything on every single planet like i need basalt and on my main save i actually haven't found basalt yet because i never did the salvage for gate data farm and never did a guide over it so i didn't want to do it yet uh because i maxed it out too quick but anyway i do believe that is all guys i also have fleet come our fleet rooms and the normal galactic trade terminal room but anyway i'm out see you keep it base mode let's go